Hi, this is Angela with today's cup of tea. Sooner or later, when you talk about spiritual stuff, you eventually get to the term karma. So we're going to talk about karma today because there's um, much in misperception and all the shroud and mystery and, you know, it's sort of become a catchphrase and eventually, no matter what belief system you're in, you hear the word karma in one way, shape or form. And if you're not familiar with it, so that's awesome, but I'm going to sort of just define it in the way of, of how many people look at it. And that is, if we do something, then it gets paid back to us, whether it's good or bad. That's what people say, well, there's good karma here, or bad karma here, or they have bad karma, or whatever. However, what is really interesting is how people use it as a judgment. Oh, well, you know, they should just get their bad karma paid back to them. Whoa. First of all, we must step back from that, must step back for the judgments um, and realize that we have created all of this. We've created all of this. Now, let's talk about karma for a minute. We, you know, and that's another, it's another level. You know, there are so many in the spiritual, on the spiritual, active spiritual path who say, you know, we'll, we'll talk down on belief systems that talk about, you know, God punishing people and being judged and everything else. And yet in the next breath, they'll talk about the karma of that person. So it can be used in a positive way, but it also can be used in a very limiting and definitive way that's sort of like in a box. And many don't understand. So there are some that I've seen that have been on the spiritual path for quite a long time. And they'll say that, well, I don't understand that person should just get all the bad karma that they've dealt out. So let's look at it from a bigger perspective. First of all, how do you know that they did not already pay for whatever it is that they have to do? How do you know that it wasn't something that they, um, they experienced in another life and that they got to reciprocate in this one. I talk a lot about etheric binding agreements that we have with different souls in our soul family that, that cause um, are a cause for catalysts that we decide at the soul level we need this catalyst for whatever experience we choose to have. And yes, it can be some of the worst, most painful experiences that we have in this life, but those tend to be our biggest catalysts. Now we've done all this job, all this work. We've done all this work on clearing out the trauma, drama, and illness and all that kind of stuff. And that we can experience and learn lessons via, you know, the more positive side of things with grace and ease and balance and harmony and joy. But yet that karma thing, uh, when you believe it, again, it goes back to belief. If you believe it, you create it. So I used to be a firm believer in karma. <sighs> And what, like I said, what it really translates to from a bigger perspective is it's simply many times an agreement you've had that two souls have or multiple souls have for certain things. So typically we get together and say, and this is my experience is that my understanding is that typically we'll get together and say, okay, I need this catalyst in this lifetime, in this package so that I can learn this lesson. And then the other soul says, you know what? I want a similar one too. So how about I give you this one in this, this lifetime? And you give it to me in another lifetime, seriously. So we've all, and I've said this over and over and over again, we have all had the best of experiences, the worst of experiences. We have been the exalted and the depraved and everything in between, all of us. We have had, you know, God and go goddess-like um, existence and we've had really, you know, scum of the earth kind of existence, all of us, without exception. And so if you want to look at karma as that, as part of our etheric binding agreements, absolutely, that's fine. However, we can go ahead and clear out those agreements too. When we are ready to release those lessons, if, we're, if we say, hey, you know what? I am so done with the trauma, drama, and illness thing. And so I don't need no, none of that. You can clear that out. That's what we do with all of these agreements. So the other thing that is important to think about is this. When we say, well, that person that just has bad karma, or I have bad karma, or something like that, meaning you have a lot of stuff that might be coming to you in a bad way, that's, again, externalizing um, excuses and rationalizations and um, taking out the, our empowerment and taking away our empowerment and saying something else like karma has power over us that we have no control over. And again, what's the biggest 
part of this experience at this point in time is we're coming back around full circle to the point of realizing that everything is within our power. We are the divine and we have all of that within us. So we can say, yeah, don't do that. You know, it's funny. I was having issues of um, some weird things that were going on and found out there was a weird agreement that an odd, very interesting agreement that I had with um, somebody else in my soul family, actually probably a couple, several others in my soul family that we would have to do something over and over again for some particular reason and um, from a certain point and I was like, whoa, that's ridiculous. Yeah, okay, yeah, how complex. And you know, we're really complex to begin with. So, all right, let's clear that out and step outside of space and time. Clear out those agreements when they started so that we don't have to go back and backtrack and undo all the stuff, you know, that or redo all the stuff that we had done already. So, wow. You can do that. And it's okay and it's allowed and it's safe and it's possible. As the divine, we are without limits. The only limits that we impose upon ourselves are those that we impose upon ourselves. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> the only limits we actually have are those that we impose upon ourselves. The only judgments that we have are those that we impose upon ourselves. My understanding, again, is I'm going to go back to the understanding is that the only absolute in this universe is unconditional love. And unconditional, by definition, is unconditional. There are no conditions. There is no, I won't love you if you won't do this. There is no, the oneness or creator or universal life force will not love us if we do this. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the experience that we chose to have as, you know, the divine experienced as ourselves. So the other part of karma that is important to think about is this. Um, and, and, like I said, I go out with I go outside of the boundaries of what most people think of as karma, where I think of it as our connectedness, because I've had many people say um, to me, "Well, if you don't believe in some form of punishment or judgment or whatever, then what would prevent somebody, say, from killing or hurting or harming or whatever?" And I said, "Well, so there are several layers to that. One is, in reality, there is no the only thing that suffers is the ego. We really don't." suffer we're always from that level of divinity at the highest level so it's all the ego's experiences that's number one number two is and any suffering that we have is so temporary um, it's all for a lesson that we chose to learn through the trauma drama and illness thing so the next level of this con consideration is this if we truly truly remembered our divinity and we truly remembered that the that the goal is to come back to the point of being in unconditional love for ourselves and for each other and to connect to the oneness and to be to remember our oneness and that you are a part of me and I'm a part of you why if I love myself unconditionally would I ever do anything that I to you that I would perceive as harmful that sort of takes that all away in the reality of things we are truly all just one. We're all coming from love. So here's the, you know, so that's the whole tie into karma, that we have to have karma. There's so many people that say, oh, I have bad karma. I must have had a really bad time in this lifetime. I must have, um, I must have done some really bad stuff because in this lifetime, well, you know what? Yeah, maybe you did. But that was probably part of an experience that you might have had, an agreement that you might have had between you um, and somebody else or some other group of people or one person or whatever that caused you to um, come back around and do this lesson again from the receiving side. So what we're going to do today in our clearing is we're actually going to clear out our expectations that we have to have karma. Um, and we have to believe in it and we have to define it the way that we have allow others to define it and all that kind of stuff. Because when we release that and we can start to look at things from a higher level, instead of saying an eye for an eye, we're just saying, okay, well, that was part of the lesson and release it. Why are we putting any real estate into what others are doing, um, what others are doing, whether it's to us or other people? We are working on waking ourselves up and in doing so we raise our vibration the more we raise our vibration the more we eliminate the lower vibrations around us and the more that all of us more of us do it the more that tipping point comes where then it just collectively becomes a much higher vibration so then we are then um without those needs of like believing in karma and all that kind of stuff and being dragged down by it 
or hell down or whatever. So, would you like all of the following without trauma, drama, or illness, without creating or recreating a negative situation for illustration or experience, and all with ease, grace, balance, harmony, joy, fun, excitement, adventure, love, humor, and bliss? Would you like it for all versions of you, all times, all places, into the ever-expanding universe, to infinity and beyond? Would you like to receive all information via instantaneous, that we request via instantaneous and comprehensive download with fully conscious understanding in the moment, version, and timeline from which it is requested? Would you like for all of Creator's truths and understandings, perceptions, perspectives, um, uh, discernments, and definitions that come in for this clearing and this healing to, um, to have Creator's version replace your own for divine alignment and become your own for a divine alignment? And then would you like to offer all this clearing and healing in here for today um, to the higher selves of all ancestors and descendants, their version of this, um, if they so choose to accept? So on that, let's say, okay, would you like to dissolve, resolve, release, and clear all etheric binding agreements that require you to believe in karma, to believe that you must suffer with karma, to believe that all actions are because of karma or have to be because of karma or are um, have retribution via karma, um, to get clarity on why that was put in place, those agreements, and how it served you, and how it will serve you to be without them. And then to also get creator's truth, the perception of what karma is versus the truth of what that truly is. To thank all parties involved in the agreements, to open the doors to apology and forgiveness to and from all parties involved, to download the knowledge, understanding, and feelings of all parties, uh, of, of apology and forgiveness to and from all parties involved, to pull all related beliefs, including I fear karma, karma is bad, Bar karma can hurt me, um, I must have bad karma, I must have good karma, if I do something, I should have karma, if somebody else does something, they should have karma. I can judge others via the use of karma. Um, others can define what karma is for me, outside of me. The, pull all those beliefs, pull all underlying anxieties, fears, regrets, rejections, resentments, anger, and guilt. Pull the memory and energy of that from the cellular level. Pull related self-limiting thoughts, words, and actions from the cellular level. Transform the creator's lights and back to creator and close those receptors. Open new ones and saturate the cells in between the cells with the highest vibration of creator's unconditional love. And download the beliefs of I am free of karma. We are free of what everyone calls karma. Um, I know how to act in being free of karma and yet in the highest and best most positive way I know I, I know how to understand somebody else's actions without blaming it on karma um, I understand what karma is I know uh, the perception versus the truth of creator of all that is I can um, move forward without being locked down or inhibited or afraid of karma, I know how to do that before being free of that, to know the feelings of that, to knowing that you're worthy, deserving, and able of that, that it's possible, that okay, and safe to, that you're ready, willing, and able to, and that you have that in your life right now. And then would you like to heal, resolve, and clear the timelines in all directions to affinity with the violet and platinum flames? Uh, and then would you like to write off as complete in the Akashic Records? And if you would, take a deep breath, clear your mind, be open to receive, and say yes, karma. And that's it. Have a wonderful one. We'll talk to you later in the week. This is Angela with Today's a Cup of Tea.